Alrighty then, folks, we're back. This is the Living Room Panther, and it's time to start giving some stuff away. It's still Sunday morning, and my auction is still open for probably three or four more hours. And I'll do a real quick update on some of my other things going on before we do this here raffle drawing. Alright, on the mini giveaway raffle, the $2 donation per number, I've still got plenty of spots available. CM Silver, he came in and got a couple spots. So, still anybody interested in that, look me up. There's my Gmail, and here's the list of prizes. Alright, next thing is, the $10 raffle is now all donated for. So, we'll come back to that. Alright, next thing is, the number pick. I'm going to read off an update. I had a lot of guesses today. So a lot of y'all won't be able to guess again until tomorrow, but if you have not guessed, here's a rare update. I'm just going to name off the numbers that have not been chosen. Number 2, 4, 13, 15, 17, 25, 26, 28, 32, 34, 35, 41, 46 and 48. I think that's 14 numbers left. It's coming down to the wire. All right, folks. On the auction items, uh, only update I got was on number one. The three one ounce copper rounds. Trudy came in and she bid nine dollars on it. She wants that copper. So there you go on that. Everything else is pretty much all the same. So no updates on that. I did start packaging up packages. And getting everything kind of pre-packaged. And I can tell y'all as of right now, almost everybody on the list has a very small package. So, we'll see how it goes by the end of the day. Uh, I had a couple of people say they haven't received their envelopes in mail. And I hate those darn envelopes, man. I've, I've put packing in there, i put cardboard in there, and I tape them up very well. And I mean, one of these envelopes just had a few wheat pennies in it, you know, and the guy still hasn't gotten it. So, uh, anyways, it is what it is. It ain't worth sending five wheat pennies in a padded envelope, but uh, if anybody else has any trouble, let me know. I'll make it right. All right, folks. Well, that's the updates on everything. Now let's get on with this here $10 raffle. This has been going on for about a week now, so... Uh, I found out a little while ago, I, I hit first place on Lady Bullion's giveaway. It was a birthday giveaway for CNR Treasures, and thank you so much, Lady Bullion. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my buddy Ron F., because Ron F. turned me on to Lady Bullion. I hadn't been a follower of hers. I was sub to her, but now I'm beginning to look at her content quite a bit more. So, anyways... Uh, that's that, and let's get on with this. This is the $10 giveaway raffle, and the first place prize is this 1922 piece dollar right here. Second place prize is this maple leaf. Third place is this barber half. And fourth place is the three Benjamins back here. And fifth place is that... uh that uh, 1971 proof set. That chime's not supposed to be in there. That's an auction item. Anyways, there it is, folks. And here's the list of the people who have donated. Johnny Ray, Samantha S., Johnny Ray, John Scott, Ron F., Canadian Ron, Cat Lee, Gregory K., Ron F., Perry B., Dave Treasures, Cat Lee, John S., Gregory K., Ron F., Deanna H., Cat Lee, Lou M., John S., and Greg K. All right, folks. Well, there's the numbers, and there's the uh, coins, and here's the old bag. Nothing in it. So let's put them in there, and let's draw some winners. All right, winner, winners, chicken dinners. And I do have, I am staged to pan some gold. Uh, gold dirt for Mr. John Scott. He's got five scoops coming. And if I calculated right, I think I got three to four scoops left after he's done. So I know there's still good goodies in there. 
every scoop has had something in it. And folks, let me tell y'all, I watched Ron F's video this morning of him panning. And you know, when, when you pan in the wild and you're just getting conned straight out of a river or a creek or whatever, you know, it's hard to find good gold in there. I mean, you, you might get lucky and come across a good hot spot and you, you can find more. But, you know, I'm kind of spoiled the way I do it. This living room panning, ordering the dirt with guaranteed amounts of gold in it and such. Uh, when I see a pan with a couple of flakes, a couple of spots in it, that's disappointing to me, you know. I'm used to seeing some color, and I mean a lot of color, so, but I mean, I'm paying for this. The difference in what I'm doing and what, like, Ron's doing is he's going out and finding it. It's free gold to him. I'm having to pay a premium to get that gold concentrate dirt that I get, so... That's the difference, but he's also doing a lot of legwork out there working for it, you know. He's got to dig it up and classify it and all that stuff, so I don't know. I, I sometimes wonder, is that really something I would want to do? I mean, I talk about going to Colorado and experiencing it for a week or so on some gold-laden river, but... If I came home with less than an ounce of gold, I'd be disappointed, and it sounds to me like you don't find a whole lot, you know, when you go out looking for it in nature like that, so, alright, anyways, enough of that babble talk, anyways, bunch of mumbo jumbo there, we all do what we do, and we're good at what we do, I love what Ron does, Ron, bro, I, I really enjoyed that video, seeing, seeing your techniques and all, really inspirational, you know, it makes me ready to pan, all right, y'all stay tuned for that pending. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. The coins are jumping. They're nervous. Let's see who's it going to be first place for that peace dollar right here. Oh, I know this dirty coin. That's number 16, folks. Number 16 is Deanna H. You got it, girl. You got yourself first place. You got that peace dollar, girl. Congratulations. All right, here we go for the maple leaf. Hope everybody's on the edge of their seats. Second place is going to be number five. Number five is, I was just talking about you, my buddy Ron F. You got that silver maple, brother. Congratulations. It's 2008, too. It's pretty nice. All right. Here we go. Third place. Just put that 1898 barber half, man. She's an old one there. All right, who's it going to be? Number six. Number six is, who else, folks? Who always wins? That's a lucky girl right there. That Cat Lee, I tell you what. Thank you so much for your support, Cat Lee, and congratulations on that win. You got that 1898 Barber Half right there. All right, here we go. This is for the three Benjamins. Good luck, everybody. Let's see who we can get. Lucky number 19. 19, that's John Scott. Another one of my panorites. Thank you so much, John Scott, and congratulations on them three Benjamins. All right, last one in the box here. 1971 proof set. Who's it going to be? Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Last coin out of the bag. Number 17. Number 17 is Cat Lee. Can y'all believe that? That girl is on fire again. All right. Well, congratulations, everybody. Thank y'all all for y'all support. And as you know, I'll be kicking off another one. I always keep things going on my channel. So if anybody's got any suggestions, recommendations, anything, just let me know. Uh, don't forget, I got them pecans I'm holed up on, and I got, I think, three or four more scoops of gold dirt before that bucket's empty, and then I'll probably build another one. All right, folks, well, y'all know what we say. Thanks, thanks for all y'all's support. Please hit the like button, and later, taters.